Hi everyone, my name is Mike Anderson and welcome to our field observations test number four. And this one is all about tracks and signs of animals. We've been doing lots of plants and other things, but now we're all about the tracks and signs. And we've come to our first awesome track, uh, which is right down here in front of me. So what animal could possibly have created this track? There's an idea so you can see the size of it. It's bigger or about the size of my hand. What animal made this? There is a beautiful marula tree here, nice and tall, which is covered in mud over here. You can see all over here, there's a lot of mud. So tell me what animal did this? And as a bonus, what was it doing when it did this? What was the reason for this? Good luck. We're really close to a crossing on the river. And as we were driving up, we noticed this hole in the, in the bank over here. It's got two very distinctive divots over here. What animal could possibly have made this hole in this sandbank? All right, so question number four, and this is a really awesome one. We, will, we are driving now along the river. Very thick environment, a lot of small animals moving around like daiko and impala uh, because of the water and the green vegetation. And we found this amazing track over here. Uh, what animal made this track? It's a spectacular track. It's just about the size of the palm of my hand, just in there. That's about the size of it. What animal made that? Last question, everyone. Question number five on this week's Tracks and Signs field observation test. And it's this track in front of me here. Very, very big track, okay? It's bigger than the size of my hand. My hand can fit inside that track. Uh, this track was, the animal was moving that way. And it looked like maybe it had a little bit of unsure footing on this particular patch, because look at that big, long slide mark. I think it put its foot down and slid as it was trying to walk around. What animal made this? This animal walked here to get to this water or this patch of mud on the road, had a bit of a drink probably, and then moved on. And if you said it was an African buffalo, you'd be correct. This is a marula tree. It's very tall. We're very close to the river and this marking is quite high. The only animal that this could have been would be an elephant, okay? A warthog or a rhino would have been here, buffalo maybe a bit taller over there or rhino, but up here it can only be an elephant, so well done if you got elephant correct. And what was it doing? It was rubbing its body against this to loosen off dead skin and parasites that might be embedded in its skin. Awesome. This animal was spectacular. It was one of the bee eaters, either a bee eater or a kingfisher, probably a white fronted bee eater, because white fronted bee eaters are not communal nesters, they're not in big massive flocks. It could be carmine bee eaters, but carmine bee eaters you'd see uh, just hundreds of holes all over this bank. So that is really cool. This is my favorite animal that made this track. This was a leopard walking along the road here at the edge of the Karongwe River, probably hunting some of the small animals that are along uh, this river course. Spectacular. Okay, everyone, well done. If you said that this was a clumsy giraffe, then you were correct. This giraffe was walking along the bank of the river, probably enjoying the big tall trees. There's a lot of knob thorns around here. There's a few mapanis, etc. Obviously took a bit of a slip here. We had a lot of rain recently, and this giraffe uh, did almost fall itself right over. Well done everyone. Congratulations on another successful field ops. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you liked this video and you want to see more just like it, please don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button.